So today, T, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a custom conversion. And what I'm going to do here is kind of just explain to you what, what exactly one is. And another reason why most real estate agents, but just business owners in general, don't succeed in, in, in their ads. This is a huge reason why they don't, they don't succeed with their, with their ads. Yesterday, we kind of talked about the importance of custom audiences. That's one huge reason why people don't, don't succeed because they're not building these custom audiences. But this is another, this is, this is a, a second reason why most don't, don't succeed. So as you scroll down, let's see if we can find an ad. That's an ad there, but that's for, from more of a brand, a brand and, a, and a big, big company. Let's see if we can find from an individual, like a coach or a consultant or something like that. So keep scrolling down. Um, oh, here we go. So that's, a, that's, a, that's another another brand. Um, I'm looking for like a like a like a Tim Ferry, like a like an Anthony Robbins type uh -huh. of like an individual. Let's see if we can find one. That's like a classic. Let's, hey, that now actually that this will work. That will actually work. That will work okay. because because right here I know for for a fact that they're now open virtual wholesaling masterclass. So what they're doing, this is a perfect example. What they're doing is their 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 whole objective is to get people to the to the master class. Mm -hmm. So the way I'm going to kind of explain this custom conversion, it's it, it's going to start with a question. I'm going to question. I'm going to question you. Okay. As we run ads, as we run ads, and here's the ad. What's the what's the most important objective? So the most important objective is to get them to click for more information and then to opt in. I think those are the two most okay. important. So those are two different things. So is it to okay. click? Is it to click or is it to get them to opt in? Opt in. Those are two different things. If they click, you, you're not capturing their information. So to opt in. Yes. Okay. So most good, good answer. Most would what it would have stopped on your first on your first statement. You said the objective is to get them to click. Mm -hmm. Most would stop right there, right? And, and, and if it was a video, most would have said, well, the objective is to get thousands of people in my area to see this video, mm -hmm. right? That's a different objective. So someone that's, that's putting out a video and they're, they're trying to get thousands of people to see it, that's a very specific objective. That's a video view ad, for example. When you run video views, and we're going to go into the ads manager, and I'm going to show you, when you run video views, most will run video views because it's a video. They're thinking, hey, let's get thousands of people to see it, and we're and if we can get thousands of people in this local area to see it, we're going to we're going to win. But when you come in and you set up the ad and you go video views, Facebook's going to give you exactly what you're asking for. So you asked for fifteen thousand views. You didn't ask for any opt-ins, right? Right. So there goes your exactly. fifteen thousand views. And, and so what does that do for you? Nothing. Exactly. I don't do nothing. So therefore, you have an agent saying, "Hey, my ads didn't work. I got thousands of people to see it, but I didn't get no leads because exactly. again, you didn't do what we're about to do." And so now. That's one video views. A mm -hmm. second person would say, "Well, David, yeah, the, ad, the the objective is to get them to 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 read the ad and to click." Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click. Go ahead and click. Click learn more. So, if that was the objective, our objective is to get them to see the ad and get them to click. Okay, cool. Facebook's going to give you exactly that. Facebook's going to give you thousands of people who clicked, but that's all they did. Mm -hmm. They didn't opt in, right? They didn't opt in. So a custom conversion is based on an opt-in. It's based on the fact that we are running this ad with the sole objective to get people to opt in. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, that's it, right? Which I am, is why this page has to be so simple and just have this no, one. No, not that, that not that. It, it, it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than that. So as I'm, I'm teaching you these landing pages, it's all about two pages. It's all okay. about the landing page and the thank you page. So for us, for, 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 for us to say that, that to get them to opt in is the most important objective, if that's the answer, if that's our objective to get them to opt in, okay, well then opt in. Come right here, scroll down. Let's use mm -hmm. this guy as an example. Put, put, a, put a bogus email, just put, put, put a bogus email at Gmail, yeah. And then, okay, so we got to the, we got to the landing page. Mm -hmm. We click, we come to the thank you page. So as this processes, which this is, this is kind of weird. I never seen something like this where just most people, some people would have left already. It yeah, has to go quick. Right? It has to go quick. Mm -hmm. That's too much time. That's way too much time. But here's the deal. This is the thank you page. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So his objective running this ad was to get people to this page. You can only get to this page if you opted in. So what we must do is we must take the link at the top and create a custom conversion and let Facebook know it's a custom audience, which is what we did yesterday. We set up a custom audience around the thank you page, seller guide leads. Yes, that's a custom audience. But what we're going to do today is set up a custom conversion, letting Facebook know that this is the most important page. So this guy right here, this real estate wholesaler guy, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and I'll, and, and I'll assume that, that he did what he's supposed to do, which what he would have done is he would have took that link at the top, realestatewealthnetwork.com forward slash VWA forward slash VHA dash offer. Mm-hmm. That right there is the link. That right there is the custom conversion. Actually, I think it goes all the way up to setup. I think, setup, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it goes all the way to setup. So that would be the full link. Two things. Number one, it's a custom audience. So he knows that you're here. Now on his next ad, he'll exclude you. So you should not see any more ads from this guy. Got but it. He did put in a bogus email. So so you may, you may, but but um typically that that's how it works. This guy now has you in a custom audience of leads. So therefore, now he'll always exclude you from seeing future ads because you've already opted in. So number one, he set you up in a custom audience leads. And then number two, he took that link and told Facebook, here's the custom conversion. Find me people that are likely to get to a page like this. Find me people who are likely to opt in. So when Facebook's are, when Facebook's running your ads, they're not just running it to everybody. Their intelligence is so freaking on point where they know who clicks on shit and who doesn't. Like they know. So they know to show if this is what you're looking for, conversion, custom conversion, lead, opt-in, they know the type of people out there that are likely to do that. And that's who they, that's who they end up showing your ads to even more are people who are actually, you know, clicking on stuff. So, so now, so that, that's, that's a custom conversion, the thank you page. So now let's go over to, let's go over to Kartra. We're going to grab our thank you page link. So let's go to pages and let's scroll down and let's just grab our color one, right? color guide lead one. Okay. Let's see right here. So just click the three dots, get coder link. And all we're going to do is just copy everything except for the www and the https. So just copy the link, the, the domain. Sorry, it's so slow. Wi-Fi is so slow. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Here? That we- yes. So, okay, so now that we have that link, what we're going to do now is come over here, click the three lines to the left, and we're going to go to events manager. So the custom conversion will just, there's a few different buttons we'll be clicking on. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's go through it. And these are new updates with Facebook and, and because of the whole Apple thing. So there's a few things, that, a few buttons we got to click on that you never had to do before. So I'm glad I'm teaching you the, the updated version of all this stuff. Right. Manager. So as we click on events manager, the events manager is where your pixel is at, but it's also where you can get to your custom conversions. So as we come over here, we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left. So that little blue triangle, and then you'll see custom conversions. So let's hover over that, that blue triangle to the left and then okay custom conversions perfect there we go okay cool so these are your custom conversions so and i i don't know if you have this specific page actually you don't have it bookmarked i think i know you have something bookmarked you you did we did bookmark custom conversions but as we set it up i'm gonna i'm gonna have you rebookmark it check your bookmarks real quick for me please the um the facebook one So you have under custom conversions, and I'm going to have you custom conversion. So go ahead and go ahead and right click that custom conversion and just delete it. We're going to, we're going to rebookmark it. Okay. Yeah. So delete that one. Okay, cool. Okay. Awesome. And now click the blue button and we're going to create our custom conversion. So again, the custom conversion is all about the thank you page. This could be an open house. This could be a listing. This could be anything, agent, agent attraction. It's all about two pages, the landing page, the thank you page. The thank you page is your custom conversion. 
Um, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name at the top. And the name at the top is exactly what we named the custom audience. What do we name the custom audience? Seller guide leads. Mm -hmm. That's the thank you page, right? That's the custom audience. So we also name the same, the custom conversion. You can name it the same as well. Seller guide leads. So now you're going to leave that as is the, the green dot stays. And then down, you're going to click on select your own category. So select right your own under URL. No, the blue select your own category. Right. Okay. So click on that and then hit the drop down recommended. And then over here, these are all the different forms of a custom conversion. So when we're online, Macy's.com, freaking whatever, <laughs> like you're on any website, these are all the most important objectives that most businesses are trying to achieve, which mm -hmm. is, which is getting, getting Tamara to, to Macy's to click on that red handbag and add her payment info. Mm -hmm. That is a real hardcore marketing objective that the Macy's, that the executives at Macy's freaking mastermind on, yeah. right? Getting her to add her credit card info and all these other ones, all these other ones donate, um, initiate checkout, getting her to click wow. on that red bag and initiate the checkout. I even have schedule in here. Yeah, Start so if you're running ads to get people to schedule an appointment. Wow. That is, so look, on the schedule one, on the schedule one, let's mm -hmm. talk about that real quick. On the mm -hmm. schedule one, what would we be doing? We'd be running an ad to get people to schedule an appointment. Now, even though putting out a seller guide, they opt in, they go to the landing page, they opt in, they come to the thank you page. It's us on video saying, hey, schedule, an, schedule a call. Yes, we're trying to get them to schedule a call on the thank you page of a seller guide, for example, on an open house funnel, a, a listing funnel. Yes, on the thank you page. Yes, we're trying to get them to schedule a call. But that really wasn't our main objective. Our main objective was to get them to just simply download it. Mm -hmm. But in this case, if I was going for schedule, that's the main objective. I'm mm -hmm. even talking about that in my ad. Hey, guys, I'd love to talk to you. Click the button, yeah. it'll take you straight to my page. A verbal call to action. Like and even on the page too. That's the real, real objective. So here, here's what here's what would happen on that one. Let's say you're running an ad and, and that's that's what we're talking about in the ad is let's let's get on the phone. I'd love to talk to you. They click the ad, they come over to a landing page where they where they click a button. Once they click the button, your calendar pops up. So there's no real opt-in just yet. They're not opting into anything. They're coming to your landing page to schedule the call. So they click a button, your calendar opens up. They put Monday at 5 p.m. They then land on your call confirm page. Mm -hmm. The call confirm page is the custom conversion. Bingo. So we would take that yeah. link to the, call, to the call confirm page. We take that link and put it over here. So the call confirm page is the is is the in this case the thank your you thank page. you page yes right. yes there you go now you're learning okay. yes and that's when we would come over here and we would optimize it for schedule because that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get people to schedule a call right so so the way the way we're the way I'm kind of teaching you here is kind of just to be yes of course I'd love to go straight for an appointment right and, and in in any business if you're in the client services business and your 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 whole thing is getting people on the on the phone yes for sure we'd love to go straight to that but the non aggressive approach to all this is to offer them something first for free give right. them free, give them something yeah. for free give them something yes. they can download for free let them jump into your serve world. not sell mm -hmm. serve first right mm -hmm. that's that's the whole approach with the seller guide is is let me give you this for free and then you come into my world and then if i can get you to fall in love with me you'll eventually schedule a call that's right. right. So, that's so that's kind of the whole non-aggressive, non, non, or it's, it's the, um, it's the indirect approach, you know, mm -hmm. it's not so hardcore aggressive. So in this case, we're going lead, we're going lead straight lead. This one is lead. So awesome. click on lead. And then you're going to simply paste in that link right there. If it will let so, me see if you can, yeah, see if you can paste. If not, just, if not, just type it in s3 decree.com or what was it? S3 decree.info forward slash. Yeah, just look at it. It's simple. You can just type it in if anything. Decree.info schedule call now. Yes. Okay. So got it. Yes, perfect. So we'll type that in there and then we named it at the top and then we'll hit create. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the link right there. That's the most important page that we're trying to get people to with these ads. That's what we're telling Facebook. And everything else I did was good. Yeah, everything else is good. So perfect. Okay. So hit create. Okay. And now we're gonna get this this here that we gotta we gotta update this. So number one, in business manager, go to the settings to assign the custom conversion to your business ad account. So we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna go to custom conversions, which you're already in, and then you're gonna add assets. So right there at the top to the middle, add assets, and you'll see your ad account right there. So go ahead and click that circle and then add. Perfect, that's done. Okay, cool, now hit done. And so now go back to the events manager tab that you have open there at the top, events manager, the tab. Oh, okay. And number two, go to web configurations. And so now all we're going to do is just simply match the custom conversion with the um, with the word custom conversion. So click on that, click right there, and then manage events, and then edit. And then so now over here, you're going to click on that green add event in the top right. And then over here, all we're going to do in the first drop down is, is go hit the drop down and go custom conversion. And then over here, we'll see to the right, hit that drop down, you'll see your custom conversion. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. So click on Very that. Cool. And then apply. And then click on yes. And that's it. So now here's here's the flow now. Here's how here's how it works. And again, going back to why other ads don't convert is because they never do any of this. And then and then yeah, they never do any of this. Wow. So now hit the three oh lines gosh. to the left. Go to ads manager and we'll end it right here. Go to ads manager and then um so let me show you where where this now all takes place. So now as we go in, and again, most will just come in here, they'll click the green button and they'll run an ad without doing any of that stuff we've done, T. Like imagine all the stuff we've done on these last few calls. Like we set up a lot of stuff. Like we oh integrated gosh, our domain. We, we integrated our domain. Oh, we freaking God. set up custom audiences. We put the pixel on these pages. We customize these links on all these damn pages. We set up the custom conversion. Mm -hmm. Like like without any of that. Mm -hmm. Like so most people bypass all of that and then they get, and they come straight here, click the green button, and claim they're running an ad. It's like, dude, oh my God, like, you kidding me? Like, you're blowing money. Like, what do you mean you're running an ad? Yes. Right. So, and so I hear the, it all the time. Yeah. Hit the green button. So, wow. as we come in now, now that we have all that set up, as we come in and we run our next ad, our objective is conversions. So, mm, most, so right here, right there. So, so again, back to what I was saying earlier is that if you put out a video, most people would come over here and go video views because because right. logically they're thinking let's get thousands of people to see it but 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 mm -hmm. that's 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 exactly what you're going to get is just is just views ain't no clicks ain't no opt-ins ain't no nothing you're getting just fifty thousand views which ain't you can't cash that right that's so it's like burning money that's burning that's money burning your your marketing budget and then and then the other one that you said which was which was to get people to click if that's the objective, okay, cool. So I got an ad. My whole objective is to get them to click and go over to my page. That's traffic. Mm -hmm. So if I was running traffic right there in the middle, that would be that mm -hmm. objective. Now, now there is there is benefits to that because look, if I went traffic, if I went traffic and my whole objective was to run an ad and get them to click and come over to the landing page. Yes, that's all I'm asking for is the traffic to click. That's what click is traffic. If that's all I'm asking for, there is some benefit out of that because what, what would happen? That person would right. click, they would come over to my landing page and they're pixel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at yeah. least I'll be able to pixel them. At least I set up the page as a custom audience. So mm -hmm. if I did that, so you'll see all that, all that data on the back end, all the analytics. Well, well, not right? just at the analytics, but the fact that you have these audiences. So, mm -hmm. so if I click and I go to your web page, that's a custom audience, mm -hmm. right? So if I was just running traffic and that was my objective to get you to click, okay, you click. Like for example, yesterday you clicked on Macy's, you clicked, mm -hmm. you're now in their custom audience. They don't got to look mm -hmm. at analytics or anything like that. No, you're in their custom audience. They set up a custom audience. You clicked and you're, you landed in their custom audience. 
So now mm-hmm. you didn't have so to. So now be- they know to run other ads to me. Yeah. So now they'll be able to run other ads to you. And all I did here was run traffic. Now the next ad you'd want, they'd want to run is conversions because conversions is what we're trying to do is get a sell or get a lead. So yeah, if you have extra money, then yeah, playing around with these other ones just to create the audiences could be beneficial. I would run traffic okay. just to create the audience. I would run video views just to create the custom audience, right? Okay. Like if I have extra money, but, but in this case, like we're, 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 we're putting all our money in. So we got to, we got to make sure it's, it, it's going to the right place. So it's conversions. Yeah. So now as we click on conversion, you click continue as we go through the setup. And we won't go through the whole setup now, but I'm going to show you where this custom conversion is at. As we go into the setup, there's three steps and you can see into the top left. Those are your three steps, your three levels in step number one, which is new conversions campaign. You see that to the top left, Mm -hmm. here are three levels right here. We're in level one. This is level one. This is the campaign level two. What do you see in the, in level two? New conversions asset. And then number three, the ad. So these are the three steps. Mm -hmm. The top one campaign, this is where we come in and we always have to go special ad category, hit the drop down, go housing. You always have to go housing in that category. So hit the cat to the right, no, to the right, the drop down categories, special categories right here, right there. Yeah. Category, special ad category. So hit Mm -hmm. that drop down. You always have to go housing. So if you're in any of these other industries, you have to click and make sure that you, you comply here. So housing that right there is step one that's the campaign is okay. making sure that you choose that hit next the blue button to the bottom right click on next now we go to the ad set level the ad set level is where you choose your budget it's where you choose the targeting it's where you choose um, um the wow, place of the ad. That. but then here is where you also tell facebook about the custom conversion and that's the conversion event so click inside that conversion event box Okay. And you'll see, scroll down, you got to look for it. You'll see your custom conversion. So where is your custom conversion? Oh, our guy leads. There's your custom Found conversion. So now we're telling Facebook here at the ad set level, we're telling them, you know, the most important page. That's the most important page. That's what we're ultimately yeah. trying to get them to that page. And then as we go to the third step, which is the ad, that's where we add the learn more button. And that's where we mm-hmm. tell Facebook about the landing page. We tell them, hey, when they click learn more, they're going to the landing page. That's where we tell Facebook is on the third step. Okay, so we'll stop right there, though, because I don't I don't want to take more time. Okay. But but that's that's the custom conversion. So, again, anyone looking to capture leads, anyone looking to make sales, most of the time that's never set up. And then they wonder why it didn't work, you know? Now, when I clicked on seller guide leads and I went next, was that all that I needed to do on the oh, new? No, no, hell no. Hell no, 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 no. There's a lot more. I, I, well, we won't get into that right now, but no, there was a ton that you okay. bypassed. Yeah. We'll okay. That when we go, when we actually set up an ad, we'll go step by step. But no, there's a ton that we did that you didn't do um, that you were supposed okay. to. So, but I just wanted to show you here the, where that's at, where the custom conversion is at. It's on that ad set level. So that's where we would put okay. it. In. Okay. So. So that's it, T. So so today was just simply setting up your custom conversion, and then and then we'll chat. We'll chat. Hopefully, we chat next week. And and we got to. There's still a ton that we got to do on the Carger side. You got to edit these pages. You got to set up the email sequences. All these emails that go out after they download the seller guide. That's right. You were saying you set that. Up the calendar. Can I get? Do I not publish this? Don't publish. Yeah, this. you can close this. You don't. You don't need it. it just yeah, just okay. Just go ahead and hit the trash can right there at the top in the middle. Um, there's a little trash can right above, above the word setup area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just delete ad. Yeah. So any questions on that T? No, no, that was amazing. It, it gave me a visual. So that's that where we were is where I'll be running them on a regular basis. Like that's where I'll spend most of my time. Right. Well, yeah. Running conversion ads to, to with, with your custom conversion setup. Yeah. That that's, that's it right there. But there's there's okay. other things that we got to add as we set up this ad, and we'll get into that in our in our future calls. Okay, awesome. So, um, pre-schedule our calls for next week. That's my homework then. Yes, yes. So knock that out okay. and have a have a blessed weekend, and we'll chat then. Message me if you need anything. You too. You too. Right, Take thanks. Care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.